Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will demonstrate that the variance of a sum of two random, two independently distributed random variables is given by the sum of variances of these two random variables. That is, consider two random variables x comma y, where x has distribution p of x and y has distribution p of y. Now, if x and y are independent, then we have p of x comma y is equal to p of x times p of y. Now, our goal is to show that variance of x plus y equals variance of x plus variance of y, provided x and y are independent. So, now let us define a new random variable z, which is sum of these two variables x and y. Now, we can say that probability of z is given by probability of x comma y, that is the joint distribution of x comma y. So, the second centralized moment of z is given by the variance of z, which is equal to expectation of z square minus expectation of z square. In the previous video, probability basics mean of a sum of two independent random variables, we see that expectation of z is given by expectation of x plus expectation of y. So, only unknown is the first term. Now, let us derive the first term, expectation of z square. Since z is x plus y, expectation of z square becomes x plus y whole square. Now, let's call this equation 1. So, expanding this expectation of x plus y whole square, we get we get expectation of x square plus y square plus 2xy, which is basically expectation of x square plus expectation of y square plus expectation of 2xy. This is true because x and y are independent. By using this new result in the equation 1, we get variance of z equals expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square plus expectation of y square minus expectation of y whole square plus 2 times expectation of x times y minus 2 times expectation of x times y. So, this expectation of x times y comes from this term and this one comes from the definition here. So, if you look at the if you look at the right hand side here, this is basically variance of x. So, variance of x. And this is basically variance of y. And then we have 0 here. Hence, variance of x plus y provided x and y are independent is summation of variance of x plus variance of y. Thanks for watching.